Hey everybody out there. Um, it's been a while. There's been a lot going on in my personal life, a lot of personal issues, family health matters, things. So I took a little break for a while, just get everything in order, get my mental health where it needed to be. Uh, Cause that's something that's really important. Whether you realize it or not, your mental health will take a big hit when stuff happens. And especially with this pandemic going on. Um, a couple things have been upgraded in the garage. I got a new, new heater, forced air heater. That one was awesome. It just didn't move the air. I also installed a TV that was donated to me and a Roku by two of our channel followers and friends of mine. This way I can have some background noise while I'm in here. If I need to take a break, watch some Star Trek, whatever, there it is. But the big thing, big thing, my friend Robert Maddox, love you, buddy. Uh, there used to be a transmission there. It's out. The new one's right there, getting everything prepped. Today what I did was I... Took out the old automatic brake pedal. It was wider. It was either cut it or install a new one, so I just installed a new one. I've got the new clutch pedal installed loosely. I need like two more bolts I'm left to pick up because it's not firmly attached. On the other side, I have the master cylinder installed. I brake or bench bled it to get all the air out. I have my stainless clutch line ran. It's just kind of tucked up over there. I installed the flywheel today i know you probably can't see it there installed the flywheel behind that is a new new rear main seal and gasket for the oil pan because there's right on the oil pan there's a gasket the one thing holding me up is i need the bolts that hold the pressure plate to the flywheel they're like 14 bucks to order them so i'm going to order them this evening hopefully they'll be here by the end of the week clean the flywheel get the pressure plate on once that's done I think that's the last thing. Get the transmission in, put the slave cylinder on, bleed it, all that stuff, put fluid in it, and then reassemble all this mess from where Matt and I did the timing kit, and it's leaking. So I've got to figure out where that leaks at. But one thing at a time. So got new radiator. I already got the fans on. So I'm like, I would say I'm easily 50% of the way there. The rest of the stuff is just little itty bitty tedious stuff. I'm going to have to have some help getting the transmission in, obviously, but I just want to check in today, let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm still alive. Channel's not dead. It just went on pause for a little while. So fingers crossed, get this transmission in this car.